Hi, happy Friday. Happy Friday, my friend. It's Lisa Blaisdell, and I wanted to share with you today uh, my top takeaways from a really amazing lecture that I went to last night uh, with a medical doctor, Harvard-trained medical doctor, and he just so happens to also be uh, a two-time Ironman triathlete, very, very um, focused on fitness. And I wanted to share, I know some of you <clears throat> that I personally am connected with wanted to attend, but you could not. So I took very good notes and I'm going to share my top takeaways that I think are easiest for you to implement into your life and that you might want to learn more about. Okay. So the, the focus of this health was of this, of this health of this talk is around the, the power of nutrition. He really focused very significantly on nutrition. It is a huge blind spot in the medical community. And he uh, admitted that as a um, med student going through med school, he received zero education around nutrition, which, you know, most medical doctors, um, will tell you is is the truth. So, and he's my age, so he went to med school probably, um, I don't know, 30 years ago. Sorry, I'm very cold today, I'm cold. So yes, I live in California and I'm cold. So the first thing that he talked about um, around movement is that there is a new phenomenon happening that sitting is the new smoking. I mean, he showed a slide that just was really profound. If you sit four or more hours consecutively every day, it is the equivalent of smoking a pack of cigarettes per day. That's the damage that you're doing to your body. So that is a very big deal for people who have sedentary jobs, sedentary lifestyles. So that is one simple thing that you can do to change is to get up and move around a little bit more throughout your day. That was the first thing. Um, there is a research study in the Journal of American, JMAC, those are the abbreviated words, um, that exercise has the most robust effect in a positive nature regarding breast cancer. So that is very significant. If you have someone that you love that is going through breast cancer, and I realize that going through chemotherapy and radiation treatment, you are very tired and weak, but exercise can have the greatest impact on their recovery and well-being. So that was really cool. However, he then focused really uh, into nutrition and said, you cannot out trying to bad, bad diet. You just can't. And Mo, you know, if you're watching me and if you watch me on a regular basis, you, you know that that's true. He had a great slide with a woman doing sit-ups on a donut. It was like, you just cannot get around that. Maybe when you were 18 or 20, um, but you just can't. So then he really talked about this idea, and I can't see your comments. I know there's people coming on. Um, about oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is something that's happening to our bodies every single day, eating, breathing, metabolizing, you know, burning food for fuel. As soon as you're born, you take a first breath, you've got oxidative stress. That's why you have wrinkles and that's, that's aging. So we have to neutralize this oxidative stress. If you are a normal human being, doing normal human being things. You need to eat seven to 13 servings of raw, fresh, vine ripened fruits and vegetables every single solitary day of your life. Every single solitary day of your life. If you are an athlete, um, if you are an athlete, you need 16 to 18. And an athlete, um, by his definition and by researchers' definition, is someone who is exercising 60 to 90 minutes, five days a week or more. So that is actually a lot of average people. It's a lot of average women in my gym that I work out with uh, hard, you know, five, six days a week. Hi, Carrie. Thank you. I'm cold. That's why I have my scarf on. So he is a very big advocate of supplementation. He said we absolutely must supplement because the quality of the food um, in this day and age, the crop rotation and everything, we are not getting the quality of the nutrients from the food that we're currently eating. And he, you know, he said, I'm, I'm a vegan. All I eat is fruits and vegetables, but I am not getting enough. So he is a huge believer in supplementation. So then he went into showing us research, um, three papers in the annuals of internal medicine that find no benefit to multivitamin supplements. He said the, he showed a slide that the American Cancer, uh, American Institute 
of cancer research recommends that no vitamins be given to cancer patients, but that instead they have a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables. There's 18 individual published studies, 2 million participants throughout 12 years of follow-up and 12 years of research that indisputably prove that vitamins, isolated vitamins don't work. So the solution that he recommends that he lectured about last night proudly um, is around plants and plant powders and whole food nutrition and variety. Um, 30 different fruits, veggies, berries, and whole food form that you can eat in a capsule or a chewy. And he talked about the fact that science is really proving that not only do we need a lot of quantity, but we must have variety, that there is just as important research being done on the quality of um, the food as there is the variety. And, you know, the reality is, is that most of us eat the same things. I love Brussels sprouts. I love carrots. I love cauliflower. You know, I have broccoli. <clears throat> I eat seasonally, but I don't eat beets every week. I don't eat um, parsley every week. I don't eat mangoes every week. I don't, you know, so there's all of this conversation in the research um, community talking about the importance of variety. So he went behind the science of the plant powders that he recommends, that I recommend as well. He talked about the 40 different published studies that focus on things like inflammation, immune support, um, cardiovascular improvement. And then he told a couple stories and I'll, I'll share with you a couple of these stories and, and drive it back to the research. And then if you want to get the videos on this research, you can certainly reach out to me. He also has a webinar that is about 20 minutes um, talking about the oxidative stress process. And he a lot of the content that he had last night he has in this webinar. So if you'd like that, feel free to reach out to me and I'll get that to you. But he talked about a woman that he treated that had plantar fasciitis. She suffered for a long time, years. And he, he showed a picture of all of the different medications and creams and lotions and potions that she was using to help cope with her plantar fasciitis. And that is a common uh, condition that a lot of runners have. <clears throat> A lot of you know people in general just get plagued with plantar fasciitis it goes on and on and on and he at one point she was on so many different medications and, and he decided to take her on as a test project and had her blood work drawn and put her on these plant powders and six months later she had significantly um, improved her LDLs reduced the triglycerides and her inflammation markers which it's a little tricky to read inflammation markers. It, it doesn't really make sense to me, but I can send you a video on inflammation markers. But she significantly uh, had less pain, which is no surprise because when your inflammation comes down, you're gonna have less pain. So she had less pain, she had less inflammation. And, you know, not that this is gonna happen for everyone, but she was able to come off of her medications to help treat the symptoms of the plantar fasciitis. So that was really cool. And then he shared a story about his stepson who suffered from uh, chronic asthma as a little boy, nebulizer treatments, steroids, you know, had an asthma specialist, um, doctor. And when this little boy came into Dr. Phillips' life, he put him on the plant powders. And what happened was, is that he stopped having to have the nebulizer treatments. He stopped with the chronic, you know, sickness and coughs and bronchitis and things like that. And he um, measured his blood as well. And what he found was that there was an increase in the natural killer cells, which help strengthen your immune system, a reduction in what's called TN alpha immunity. I don't know what that even means and um, an increase in, in gamma T cells. So your T cells go up, the B cells go down, your immune system strengthens itself out. Isn't it boring? He graduated from West Point. <laughs> He's an amazing kid. And then lastly, he talked about himself. Now this was a killer. I wish that people could have seen this visual because this was amazing. So he's an Ironman. He had one race that he was really uh, struggling with. He had another one that he had a huge improvement with. Um, you know, incorporating all the things that he teaches about now. But he, um, so he's been using the plant powders and I have more information about uh, soy and cancer. If you want that, I'm not gonna go into that on this live, but he talked a lot about soy and the research, the new research that's come out on soy. And he told a story of how he was riding his bike and uh, he's a big, you know, 
mountain bike guy and he was out riding his bike and he got stuck and he he there was a truck that cut him off and he fell and he shattered his hip so our hips look like this this is the ball this is the socket and i know all about this because sophie went through surgery for this there's a name to this part i don't remember it this was shattered imagine your windshield just being completely shattered so nothing was broken uh, he did not need surgery, which the doctors were just shocked about, but this was completely shattered. So when he was in treatment in the hospital, they told him you have at least nine, probably 12 months of recovery. And he was back on his bike, riding his bike in three months. And all he did was um, take the same amount of plant powders, 30 different fruits, veggies, berries. He um, also was using the plant-based omega and he drank one uh, complete soy-based shake, plant-based shake a week. So he had over 55 um, fruits, veggies, berries going through his bloodstream and he healed in three months and the doctors were shocked and i have a video on um, wound healing as well if you want that so the last thing that he ended on and this is what i'll end on and i appreciate um hi bridget hi mary my friends uh you tuning in is he talked about this whole concept of um nutrigenomics and a new study on epigenetics that that uh, has recently come out that talks about the fact that you can turn off your genes. And this was on the cover of Time Magazine. You know, maybe some of you that follow health, um, this is not new to you, but I think a lot of people still have the old belief system that if your great-grandmother had cancer, if your grandmother had cancer, if your mother had cancer, then you're going to get cancer. And the studies are overwhelmingly coming out that that is not the truth. That is not the truth. You can turn those uh, cells off with your lifestyle, with good nutrition. So that was something that he is really excited about and passionate about. And there is a, a little video on that as well. So those are my notes. I hope that for some of you who really wanted to go and couldn't, you took a little bit away. I'm not nearly as um, good as him, but he was amazing. I'm happy to send you his webinar or any of the little videos that I mentioned. Um, I don't know. Well, he is speaking tomorrow. Um, very specific content. If you're interested in that at all, let me know. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your Friday and have a great weekend. Bye.